everyone! I am so excited to start this video. It is really early in the morning right now because I slept on the sofa last night because currently my bed is demolished in my bedroom, like I've took it all apart. You'll obviously know what this video is going to be about but to give you a bit of context, I am moving again, moving apartments and i wanted to obviously film the whole process you love filming like little moments of your life so i always feel like i'm always going to be able to watch these videos back and i don't know something that's like really nice about that but it's currently very early like i said it's about half six half six i've been up since probably about five to be honest with you absolutely fine on the sofa to be honest but Obviously, I didn't shut the curtain, so as soon as it got as soon as it got light, I was up. Plan of action today is I'm going to be moving my stuff over to the new apartment. The new apartment is literally across the road. We've got like the whole weekend, so it's bank holiday weekend, to move everything else. So we've got a van to hire tomorrow that we've got for 24 hours where we can move the bulky stuff over. I've only got a car today to move over like some little bits. Me and Alex are probably going to stay in a new apartment tonight. Connor, my flatmate, who's also moving to the new apartment. I don't know if he's moving over tonight or not. He did go out last night, so we'll just see. But we've got a lot of time on our hands to get everything done. But it needs to be done by Sunday because we need to be out of this place. And I'm also going out of the bank holiday. But we have a lot of time. It's going to go very quick, so we need to make sure we're, we're efficient. We've also got to put loads of stuff into storage. And we've also got to drive that back to my hometown because storage in manchester is not actually that cheap for what we want to put in so luckily we've got someone at home that will store it for us like there's a sofa and stuff so it is a bit annoying it's a bit of annoyance it was annoying that the flat didn't come unfurnished but we loved the flat that much that we were just like right okay we'll just we'll deal with it we've ordered some new dining tables new chairs there's a new sort of theme this the theme is very similar, but it's kind of different at the same time. See, I will probably give you a flat tour in this, an empty flat tour in this video. I want to move everything out of my room so I can like clean it um, and make sure there's like no marks on the walls and stuff because you know when you're renting, they will try and hold a deposit for anything. So I just want to ensure that that's all sorted. Then I need to obviously deep clean this bathroom as well. And then I want to run into town before Alex gets here because I just want to get him something to say thank you because he's always helping me move apartments because my little brain gets bored, it gets bored, I like a fresh start and I'm just really excited for this, I feel like I've got really good feelings about this new apartment. This apartment, I don't know why I'm rambling on so much, but this apartment I kind of came back from travelling and I went through maybe like the most maybe like the second hardest period I've ever gone through in my life. I'm not even being, I'm not even exaggerating. I kind of feel like I relate this apartment to that feeling, if that makes sense. So I'm just excited to just get into a new apartment. Like I'm in a lot better headspace. But like summer's just around the corner. There's so many more benefits, which I'll talk through further on in the video because I need to just get in the shower and wash this hair. I've had my hair dyed, by the way. I've gone a bit lighter, but not as light as I wanted to because I forgot how dark I actually was. And yeah, we, we couldn't go too light because obviously then it would just go absolutely, just, it'd just go yellow. So um, I have gone a bit lighter, but this was done last week. <laughs> I had this blow dried last week and this is how it's looking still now. Like my hair just holds, curls really nicely, um, but it is very greasy. So I'm going to do a slip back moment, I'm going to have a shower and then we're going to go sort our lives out. But if you clicked on this video, I really hope you enjoy and I am so excited to bring you guys along with me on this little journey. Hair is slipped back, comfies are on. I need to pack up the bathroom. Um, I've got a little box there. I've got some more wrapping paper as well. Um, I just need to sort of like wrap all these up. But these have got stuff in, so I don't know whether to, if I need to empty it or not. Do I need to empty it or not? I also need to take this off as well, which I've got like a little rack here. Um, do you know when you feel like you've got so much to do that you just don't know where to start? I'm just going to procrastinate and put Carmex on for a second. What do I do? 
what do I do? Like, what do I do with this cloth that I've just used and it's soaking wet? Like, I can't. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Don't know. I'm gonna have to put that in the right, sec. Right, okay. Let's start off by washing this out because that is actually disgusting. My retainers in there as well. Um, this reminds me of like being at the chippy and they wrap this stuff up. I'll do. I don't even know what colour I'm going to go in my new bathroom. So my new bathroom is like a baby pink, um, like interior. So I've ordered a new bath mat, which is like really funky and quirky. I'm thinking in my new flat, I kind of want to go a bit more like colourful in the bathroom. So I'm not too sure what I'm actually going to do with these. I'm going to take them over for now, but then I'm feeling maybe going for like, I don't know, I'm feeling like a khaki green and like a peachy pink. Don't know if that. I don't know if you guys are feeling the same vibe as that. I don't know. Let me let me know. Um, but in my head, I can vision it. But I'll just have to see what it looks like. But for now, these will do. I actually got these from Primark. That these are disgusting at the moment. I need to wash them. Um, but they are just for show. These pumps. I'm getting product into these. I don't think it's that efficient. It's not very. When I put it into it, I've never been able to get the product out and it takes absolutely years to get the product into it, but they do look really nice. So I feel like I'll probably just have them for show. I need to give them a bit of a clean up, wrap them off and then get them into there. The bathroom's not going to take me very long. I just need to make sure like it's squeaky, squeaky clean. I don't know if I can be asked to clean that mirror though. I might just get like a squeegee and run it down. Progress has been made, guys. You'll be glad to know. Um, this obviously still looks very chaotic i've not even shown you what is going on to be honest with you that wardrobe is pretty much empty everything that i'm going to take downstairs in like an hour or so is all going on the hangers just so i can hang it straight back up it just makes sense then obviously these are coming with me this is going to the skip which is a whole different dilemma i'll catch you up about that a bit further into the vlog because it's been stressing me out the bathroom is now spotless, if I say so myself. I've steamed the floors. That shower is as squeaky clean as I can get it. The only thing I've not done is that because I actually am so small that I don't think that would just be near enough impossible for me. I'd literally have to be standing on that and I don't really want to break my neck. And then this is what the current state of the living room looks like. Oh my God, guys, it's actually freaking me out. Freaking me out. Also, I ordered bubble, bu bubble. I ordered bubble wrap. Look at the size of it. <laughs> I was searching everywhere in the parcel room. I was like, "There's no bubble wrap here." Didn't realise it was going to be that big, but I'm not mad about it. Packed pretty much everything. Oh, still stuff in the kitchen. Obviously, my oat milk is still out. Um, and then there's this is mainly my bedroom stuff that's going to go today. Um, and then obviously there's some stuff there as well. Then all this bulky stuff we're going to move tomorrow when we've got the higher van. Really semi-presentable to head out. I'm going to go out, maybe get like a little coffee, but I've, most importantly, it's Easter and I haven't got Alex anything yet. So I want to do him a little bit of a package, like I said before. So I'm going to go out. I'll probably go get him some Nike socks because I always rub his Nike socks and he's got none left. <laughs> and i might get him like an easter egg and i don't know i'm just gonna potter about and then i also want to go to MS as well because i want to get a new fitted sheet for my new bed because my sheet is just like it's all bobbly and it's giving me the ick um and then obviously here we have got some more stuff i'm gonna whisper because connor's in bed this is a rail that is going over and um, it's going to go in the storage cupboard so i can hang my coats and then this is a new dining table that we've ordered from Donnell. This is all rubbish, which I'm going to take down with me now, and then I'll head out into Manchester. I actually have no idea what I'm going to get Alex. Like, the Arndale is only about a five minute walk from my flat. So, I don't know if to just like get him maybe like a personalised Easter egg or a normal Easter egg. The thing is, as well, like, there's not many supermarkets around where I am to like get like a big selection. Um, so, I'm probably going to have a look at Linda as well see if we can get anything from there but i think most importantly he's going to be beneficial he's going to be most appreciative of the um the nike socks um so let's just go there see what we can find the seams at the moment northern quarter is looking very very quiet 
because it is Friday morning and it was bank holiday yesterday and I feel like everyone was out but me. So with it being the bank holidays, silly old me didn't realise the Arndale didn't open till 10 o'clock and it's now half nine. I've got myself a flat white from Costa. I'm also not sure what it is, but like everyone looks at you when you've got a camera in Manchester and like my vlogging skills in public is not there yet. I'm in the Linda shop guys and oh my god look at these. I actually don't know what to get Alex. I feel like he would kill me if I got him something like this because then he'd eat all the chocolate literally. Well I'm thinking we need to go for something maybe like this. I feel like this is quite cute. And we can have one each. Oh this is so hard, like look at the selection. Joke. Well, they've got these big eggs here, but like I said, I feel like these are way too big, like it'll kill me. Alright, Easter egg is, it's not even an Easter egg, but we've got the Easter present done. So I wrecked and get some socks to put on here, but I decided to get this Easter bag, which I thought was really, really cute. I mean, it did cost me £3, but it saved me getting a gift bag. We are back. We're back in the apartment and I don't have very long until I need to start moving all of that downstairs into the lobby because Alex is now driving over from his. So I really wanted to quickly run through what I picked up in town just. So starting off with Alex's Easter present and a thank you present for helping me move again. I picked him up this little Linda bunny, which is like in the shape of an egg and it's got loads of little chocolates at the bottom, which I thought was really, really cute. I was overwhelmed in that Linda shop. Overwhelmed. Picked up a little gift bag to put it inside just because I've picked up um, him some Nike socks as well because I keep stealing all of his and he's really not happy about it. So I got these from Sports Direct and they were supposed to be £17 and I got them for 15 which I think is extortionate for Nike socks but we move though that those are the socks that he likes. Um, I need to get this sticker off it though. I got a multi pack. I got the multi colour pack though. I've decided that he always gets just the white one so I thought I'd get him the grey, the white and the black. So I'll put them in a little bag for him and that can be his Easter present. Then I got myself some new running shorts because we're now in spring and I can't wait to wear these. These are the Under Armour. I don't know what if they are a certain type of short. Hold on. These are the Under Armour UA Speed Pocket shorts and these are cute and they've also got this bit in here which is great for like chafing which i do struggle with because your girl has got big thighs um so these have got loads of pockets in as well which is really really handy even though i will be running in my running vest um but still it's quite handy to have so i got these in a size 12 no idea if they fit but i just thought nice little treat for me i did also run a half marathon not long ago so i feel like i deserved a little running treat even though I treat myself all the time but justifying it these were 25 pounds reduced from like 40 i think so that was a nice little bargain then i went to the mns outlet got myself a cotton sheet for the new bed at the new place i just feel like i need to have fresh sheets even though i am tanning tomorrow which i haven't really thought that through then in the bathroom obviously i've already said i don't know what i'm going to go the theme the theme of the bathroom i have no idea what we're doing um so i'm thinking khaki green and like a peach because i've just ordered a peach bath mat which has like peachy colors in and a not like a khaki leaf going off the top of it I'll, I'll show you when it comes it should be in the lobby to be honest with you so these are the towels that i picked up from mns i just grabbed one for now because i just want to see if it goes with my vibe um and these were 11 pounds and this is like an extra extra large because there's an extra large body to cover basically and seeing these which i thought these are really bougie like this is not me at all but i thought you know what i just feel like this is going to be so nice before i get into bed but it is a lavender and rosemary room and pillow mist and honestly it smells it smells so so good and i feel like alex doesn't sleep well in the city and i feel like lavender is great supposed to help with your sleeping isn't it so that'll be nice to spray on the bed before we get in it and then last but not least i didn't plan on purchasing these i was there like do i don't i do i but then i just thought this is an absolute bargain and the glass it's absolutely stunning and i don't have any white wine glasses so i picked up these mns long stem white wine glasses i'm definitely going to get a bottle tonight to enjoy this glass with am i enjoying the glass or am i enjoying the wine who knows but these were 25 pounds and i got them down 
well, I didn't get them down. They were down to 15, so I got a nice little save on that. But what is that like per glass? I feel like that's really good. Like, the glasses are gorgeous as well. I feel like I got a really good bargain on this. How much is it per glass? What is four divided by 15? Is it like £3.50? Three, £3.69? 3, 12 14 It's like £3.20 a glass, isn't it? Which is an absolute bargain. Quick maths there, guys. Quick maths. I probably didn't even get that right. Whole complete i will not bore you anymore um i'm going to obviously get myself sorted now i get all the things into the lobby and go pick up the keys to my new apartment which is so exciting it's so exciting morning from my brand new apartment oh i didn't film anything yesterday my camera ended up dying we basically moved all of my stuff over um We've got to do a lot of moving today. So like all the bulky stuff is coming over. But we're going to head out for a nice little walk, I think. It is gorgeous in Manchester today. Like, look at the blue skies. I don't know if you can see, to be fair, because our view... The only thing about this flat is, like, the view is not, it's not great. But we were also saying in summer, it'll be really ideal because our old apartment was just so, so hot. Um... And it was just, yeah, we resorted in getting air con and everything like that. But POA today is we're going to head out for a nice little walk in tan coats. We're going to go to the M&S outlet again because um, Alex wants to have a look and get a few bits. And I actually want to pick up some towels because I did say it yesterday, but they do go. They go very well. So I want to pick up some more towels and then we're going to head over to the other apartment and start packing up the rest of the bits. I don't know why I feel really out of breath. Um, but let me just show you a little bit of an empty, and it's not really empty apartment tour anymore, but um, I'll show you the gist of what we're getting rid of. So this sofa is going. So this is what we've got to get, this is what we're taking back to Rugeley to put into storage. Um, this table here is also going. Um, nothing against the table. It's just, don't know where it's gonna go. And, also, we've got a TV unit from our old apartment, which we don't need, so that will be going. This ugly dining table and chairs is definitely going as well. There's a few bedroom stuff, so the beds we're keeping. Headboards, we're going to try and get them off the wall if possible, but we'll have to see about that. These bedside tables here are actually going as well. So this is actually Connor's room. I'll give you a bit of a room tour just because he's not here. Um, so he's got the ensuite and he's also got a really, really big wardrobe. So he's got plenty of storage. The only weird thing, I've never ever seen this before and I don't understand why they've done it, but they've done the rails back to front, which I just don't understand. But anyway, maybe someone can enlighten me on that. Oh, ah, I think I just found the, um, towel heater um switch and then this is his ensuite which is gorgeous it's just like a walk-in shower he's got a head drainer there and then also these mirrors that have also got storage in which are really really handy the old apartment did not have this at all um and i also love the sinks which are really really nice um and obviously a toilet which you don't really need to see um, but this room is looking like it's got quite a lot of natural light coming in at the moment. Um, so I think he'll get more of the light in the morning, whereas I'll get it in the afternoon. The kitchen, um, which obviously it's just a very open plan. We plan to have, we have bought tables and chairs, which I think we're going to put in the middle to make it more, I don't know, just fill that space. This is the storage cupboard, which we've actually put a rail in. So my bedroom doesn't have as much storage as Connor's. So my shoes and my coats are gonna go in here, which we've already done. So I got this rail from Argos, which was actually 35, 35 pounds, which I think is an absolute bargain to be honest. Um, and it stored the coats quite nicely. Like all my jackets are hung up here. This is my bathroom. So this is what I was saying about. So this is the rug or the bath mat that I ordered. And obviously the little bit of green in there I thought would tie nicely with the green towels. And I do, I do like it. Um, so I think I'm going to stick with this theme. I do quite like the black tying in as well. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'll get some like green. I don't know. I don't know. I might keep these dispensers. What are these? Called? 
I don't know if I can get some like green ones of those and maybe that'll look a little bit better, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I've just put my skincare in here, which honestly I'm just so obsessed about because <laughs> in the old flat I had no storage in the bathroom. So this is just like a girl's dream to be able to just store your skincare and everything away. I don't like anything being on show in the bathroom. I kind of like it to be very, you know, sleek. Um, including this ugly thing that can go in there and no one needs to see the green Redox shower gel. Is my wardrobe, which obviously you can see that it's not got the best storage. Connors is a lot bigger. But I've managed to fit my stuff in quite nicely. Um, the only thing is I can't get drawers in here because the width of, I don't know. So I've had to go for storage boxes anyway, which is not too much of a hassle. I've got my heels up there. And then I've stored all my bags here. And then I'll just put my jumpers in there. This chair was actually from the living room, which we had nowhere to put for storage. So it has come in here, but I actually quite like it. I feel like it looks quite cute. I'm not gonna get Alex in, cause he's in bed. And then this, no. huh? No. Morning. <laughs> um, and then this is obviously the view, which is obviously really shit. But the really good thing about these apartments is that the doors open fully. So in the summer, it's just a lot nicer. Get a bit of fresh air in the morning. All right, our Saturday morning habit at this point is trying a new coffee shop. So we're going into SIP because I've heard really good things about it. What's the menu? What's the menu? What do you have? Oh, there. just have. Caramello or hazelnut today? Okay. Or vanilla, yeah. That's fine. Can I have um, an oat milk latte with the vanilla syrup? Yeah. We've run out of vanilla. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah, you sorry. just said that. Sorry. Caramel sorry. then. That's fine. Oat latte with caramel. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, Thank you. Caramel and that white as well. Yeah. So you can try yours first. What's your thoughts? 10 10. Really? 10 10. You're actually rating yeah. it a 10 out of 10? Really good. Oh? Best. Best old but flat white I had in Manchester. You're lying. I'm, honestly, I'm not. Try it. You're lying. Try it. Okay. Oh no, that is nice. See? Oh. Oh, actually, just between friends was probably that was all the other day. Oh really? That was good. Ah, fair, fair. Mm. That was good, really good. That is really nice actually. Hard, isn't it? Like Manchester's quite good for its coffee, but like which one is your favourite? What would you rate? I would say Gales coffee. Gales? Gale. Yeah. But not the pastries. Right. Maybe. Okay. Um, Pollen coffee was good. Yeah. Um, um, I would say. Gale coffee was good. Where? As Ring Gale. Mm. Do you know what though? Like, I always like. When in doubt, black sheep. Black sheep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, black sheep. Very good. The only problem is you can't sit in at sip, really. You can, but no, it's not like um, a sit in, it's like a walk coffee. How unreal is this? Like when it starts to get a bit sunny, you can just like walk out, but it's still cold as well. At this point, it's actually disgusting me checking in on this vlog because I have been in this apartment now for quite a few days what day are we on now coming up to almost a week i'm just gonna slip my hair back because i actually can't cope with the state of me one thing that is never going to change on this channel and that is me looking presentable at all times because that's just not me but i could do with slicking the hair back anyway it's been a few days the move in everything is moved in um i actually started i stopped vlogging on the saturday which i think is where this last clip was up i i think i give you it's been that long that i can't even remember what the last clip was but i think i give you a bit of an empty apartment talk with the furniture that is in here that furniture is now gone so to give you a bit of context we started moving on saturday morning at about half 10 majority of the stuff from the old flat I didn't finish till half 11. That is when I literally got into bed. I had a shower and got into bed. And we had to get up at five in the morning because we had a van hire and we needed to get the furnished, the furniture that was currently in this apartment, we needed to get it into storage back at home. 
storage for what we wanted just to rent a place in Manchester was just a bit too expensive and it was going to cost us quite a lot of money um, which we thought we had storage back at home in our hotel that we thankfully could put it somewhere so both, both of our grandparents have helped out with this they have storage sheds and stuff like that so basically we had to go take that so we got up at five the alarm went off at five in the morning but hence the, the alarm went off at five in the morning but the clocks actually went forward so we got up at four when i tell you i'd never felt so ugh in all my life it was like the, <laughs> i was so tired and to make matters even better I had a bottomless brunch booked on that day as well so it meant me literally going all the way to Sutton we had about four stops literally across Staffordshire then we had to wake up make our way back to Manchester and clean the old flat and it's just been a bit of a whirlwind guys I'm not going to lie but that is all pretty much oh, that's all done now the only thing we need to store is the chairs but we've kept them for now because we're waiting for some to arrive from dusk i just wanted to quickly come on to this video and give you a bit of an update of where we're at i don't think i'm going to show you i'm going i'm not going to show you the apartment now with it furnished because i think i want to save it to i want to save that for a different video when the apartment is fully completed um we're nearly there so i just think there's a few extra bits that i want to do before i show you a full apartment tour which i'll do in a separate video of course you already got the gist of what the apartment looks like but obviously with our furniture in it looks so much different and so much better like the before and after is actually a bit crazy we hope you enjoyed watching this little moving vlog keep your eyes peeled for the apartment tour when it is fully furnished that shouldn't be too long so that'll probably be going up next week but I really, really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much if you have clicked on this video and I will see you very soon for a brand new one. Bye.